Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about thinking differently to get different results. You see, sometimes it's not about doing the same as everybody else. I recently saw a post from someone asking about cash flow. It was about what do I do? Um, I, I've got these big corporate clients, we're service business, we're paying our staff weekly, but by the time we get to the end of the month and bill the client and then they pay 30 days, sounded like they were doing well to be honest, to get paid 30 days from a big corporate, maybe those uh, that uh, change that's been made to make big corporates you know, fess up to paying little guys within 30 days is having a difference, but be that as it may, their challenge was that they were still paying these weekly wages for, you know, up to eight weeks before they got the money in. And that was causing them some cash flow problems. Not surprising. Two things from that. First of all, they've either started the business without sufficient funding in the business to cover for that, and that's why doing cash flow projections and budgets is so, so important because then you can see how you're tracking and where there's going to be an issue, first thing. Second thing, somebody suggested a bank overdraft, and yes, definitely, that's an option, but yeah, again, it's interest. And a few people were suggesting changing the way he invoices. He, she, I'm not sure. Changing the way that business invoice their bigger corporate clients. And the response from the person was, oh, no, we can't do it, they're big corporates and, you know, we don't want to rock the boat because we don't want to lose the business. And I looked at the thread of responses and, and help and suggestions that were being provided to this person and I, I thought, this person's asking a question but they're not interested to even hear the answers. They're not open to thinking differently. And for me, yes, big corporates generally do dictate the rules, yes. But you know what? The, when you're dealing with a big corporate, you're still dealing with a person. We're dealing people to people. And I think there's an opportunity for that business to approach their clients, the people they're dealing with, and have a very frank and honest conversation around the fact that, presumably, those companies are happy with their service. I mean, that is an important factor in it. If they're happy with the service, that this is what's happening. You know, we're, we're paying out all our costs and it's costing me money. You know, by the time I get paid from you, it's four, six, eight weeks after I've paid some of these wages and I've got a bit of a cash flow problem with that. I really want to sit with you and work out how we can come perhaps to a solution that suits you and suits me. I remember quite some years ago, I had a, an employment agent. So I've worked with a number of employment agents over the years. But this particular one, when they start with a new corporate client, and they were corporate clients, their requirements were you had to pay 14 days. Without fail, 14 days. And so what they did is they only had to fund one payroll, then get paid before the next payroll ran because they were running on fortnightly payrolls. So they didn't have to have a big overdraft or they didn't have to have a lot of money sitting in that bank account in order to fund the wages and make sure they were paid. Now employment agencies are different to providing services, I understand that. But I think, you know, there's the opportunity to sit down with corporates and say, hey, this is the situation. We want to continue working for you. We love working for you. We hope, you know, we hope that you appreciate the value we're giving and the service we're providing and everything about it. But what we'd really like to have is a month's worth of income as a deposit. So it's a deposit that we're holding. When you terminate our services at the end, that will go towards our final bill and then there'll just be a wash up. So they're kind of paying a month in advance and then you've got some money there. Some will, some won't, but you know, it's about thinking differently. It's about thinking and being open to suggestions and having those open and honest conversations with your clients. It doesn't matter whether they're big corporates or not, because I tell you what, 
B corporates do generally pay end of month after the month of the invoice. Yes, that is standard. But tell you what, they also have a mid payment, mid month payment run as well, and some of them will have weekly payment runs for some things. You just need to get yourself on that list because they don't all pay everything at the end of the month. But they just don't. I'm dealing with a big corporate, one of my clients. Yes, they do a big, big payment run at the end of the month. But I tell you what, they do one around the 7th or 8th because there's some bills that have to be paid on the 7th of each month, like payroll tax, for example. And then they have a big payment run We'll put payment run around the 21st because you know what? They have POYG withholding monthly that's due on the 21st each month. So, you know, it's not that they only pay at the end of the month. There are some bills that have to be paid on different dates and they do do payment runs. The, the secret is getting yourself onto that list and having that conversation around the importance of doing that and perhaps talking to not only the people you're dealing with, but ask who's in the accounts department that you could talk to and talk to them about what could you do, how can we change things to make things different so that you get paid more quickly. Most people are quite understanding. If they're stuck and they're stuck and they're not going to change, it's okay. Then start thinking it again differently. How can you invoice in a different way that would get that money in more quickly? What can you do differently? How can you make that work? You know, if it's a service-based business, maybe it is. This is an upfront payment we require before we start work for you. That would be for new clients, yes. Existing clients, maybe it's a conversation around, well, this is what we're doing with our new, new clients. And, you know, we, we really, you know, this is our issue and challenge. Would you be open to, you know, put, paying a, a payment up front to get us a month ahead so that we're fine? I mean, these sorts of challenges happen when you're starting out. They also happen when you're growing your business and you've suddenly, you know, when the business is growing and you've got more and more costs that are going out before the money is coming in and that's a you know so cash flow challenges happen not only at startup but they happen also when you're growing it's a good problem to have at a certain level but it's one that perhaps thinking a little differently might just end up with a different result <laughs>